Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Mega Shadow Fist, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. Partially sick edition. I don't know if you can tell, but I probably sound a little funny right now. Um, partially sick. Unfortunately, I can't really do like all the voices properly this recording session. <laughs> uh, especially, especially late the Von Karma's not coming out properly. But whatever. Anyway, when we last left off, um, we started the court case and. The court session, I should say. We're playing as Edgeworth, and we're going up against Lady Van Garma. So let's go ahead and hit continue, and go from save point. Witness, state your name and occupation, please. Hold on, there. I'm not sure about being not sure. I'm not sure about being not sure if I care about th th for this at all. Witness, please stand up nice and straight. If I recall correctly. There are a few milk crates in the defendant's lobby for witnesses with bad backs. Bailiff! Fetch a crate for this poor lady, please! Once again, your name and occupation, please? Little old me? Well, I'm the head nun of Hazakura Temple on Eagle Mountain. My name is Bikini, you get it? Bikini, nice to meet everyone. But you don't appear to be wearing a bikini right now. Ugh! Room is in the garden of holy judgment. Those with luxury and their hearts should leave the sanctuary at once. You want me to leave? No need to get your bikinis in a twist. Let me tell you, I'm a sight to behold in summer. <laughs> in any case, witness, I hear that you saw the crime that take you saw the crime take place on the night in question. That's right, or that's right. I can still hardly believe it myself, to be honest. There's no way dear little Iris could do anything like that! Let us hear what you have to say then! First, tell us about your own movements that night, eh? Witness testimony, the night of the murder. That night I was helping- that night I was helping an acolyte with her training in the inner temple, but... Well, as you can see, my backlights uh, act up violently. So, I left Iris to help the acolyte and return to the Hazakata Temple. There's no bath at the inner temple, you see, and I needed a long, hot soak. I- it was after I had finished, just as I was heading back. That's when I saw it! Hmm... So it was simply coincidence that you found yourself returning to Hazakura Temple? Yes, you could say that. If my back hadn't been in so much pain, I would have stayed at the inner temple. That sounds like a pretty important statement she just made. There's only one problem with this testimony that I can see! And you're not able to fall, fall for uh, at the first hurdle now, are you, Miles Edgeworth? Mr. Edgeworth, please begin your cross-examination. The night of the murder. It really sucks. Like, like my throat's not like sore or anything. It's just that I can't really do like all the voices properly. I was hoping that freaking nearly a full week after I got sick, I'd be able to do everything perfectly fine. But no, my throat's like nope. We're just going to the brilliant return of Lady Von Karma, and they're just like, nope, we're just going to cause you that sound like this! Ugh. Buggers. Uh, what was I saying? Okay. The night I was helping an acolyte with their training in the Inner Temple. That night, I was helping an acolyte with their training in the Inner Temple, but... What is with this Inner Temple? Well, see, conversing with the spirits is what we train people to do, right? We'll be the one asking you the questions, madam. In order to do that, a place strong in spiritual power is required. There's a small temple across Dusky Bridge called the Inner Temple. Acolytes must spend an entire night there to undergo intense training. And how exactly do you hope with this process? It is all quite exacting. It can't be performed without an unsupervising. Like a tutor watching to make a spoiled child's studies. A tutor with a whip in your case. If that is the case, then why did you return to Hazakura Temple where the murder took place? Well, as you can see, my back likes to act up violently. Violently? That's right. It's no laughing matter, especially in winter. I can't hold anything heavier than a knife and fork during the cold months. Just being alive is like strict training. <laughs> On the night of the murder, was this fabulous back of yours hurting again? That's right. Raging like a bull in a big pig... Pig pin. I almost fainted once or twice. I just knew that unless it warmed up, I was going to finally finish. It was going to finally finish me off. So I left Iris to help the acolyte return to Hazakura Temple. 
You left Iris to help. With what? What do you think? The Acolyte's trading, of course! It was just past 10 p.m., so we are starting to enter into the trading exercise proper. Wasn't it your place to wasn't it your place to remain with the disciple? Well, the job is simply to watch over the acolytes so that they don't pass away. Just to confirm this point again that night. Uh, just to point just to confirm this point again, that night. You met Iris in the inner temple, correct? Yes, yes, she's a gentle, honest girl. She's never once failed to follow my directions. There's no bath in the inner temple, you see, and I needed a long hot soak. So you returned to the Hazakura Temple in order to take a bath? My back is to blame for everything. It's a do or be done kind of world after all. How long were you in the bath for, if you don't mind me asking? My, 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 what a filthy little rogue you are! I know what's on your mind! I bet your next question is going to be, Where exactly did you wash? Ah, this is why you have to watch the young ones. What are you going to- what are you going on about- Ugh! Pathetic, Miles Edgeworth! The lowest of the- the lowest of the low! Is there some sort of kick me sign stuck to the defense's bench? Anyway, I couldn't afford to be away from my post for too long, you underst- you understand, so... <clears throat> it was after I had finished, just as I was heading back, that's when I saw it! The crime took place in the courtyard, correct? When you go from my room to the main hall, you have to take a winding hallway uh, from which you can see the courtyard. Winding way. Obviously, she didn't take winding way, I was just... That's right! In other words, it was pure coincidence that the witness saw the crime taking place before her eyes. There was no complicated setup in this case. Hmm, that certainly seems to be true. There is indeed only one problem with this testimony. If I can clearly point out what it is, then I can begin to quantify it. Just how good this witness's memory and observation skills are. Alright, so that night I was helping an acolyte with their training in the Inner Temple, but that is correct. Well, as you can see, my back likes to act up violently. That is perfectly fine. So I left Iris to help the acolyte and returned to Hazakura Temple. Hazakura Temple. There's sort of a change in testimony there. There's no bath of the Inner Temple, you see, and I needed a long, hot soak. Hmm. Okay. It was after I had finished just as I was heading back, that's when I saw it. So, after I finished, just when I was heading back, that's when I saw it. Okay, so I left Iris to help the Acolyte and returned to Hazakata Temple. Now, the thing is, like, you could present the testimony to this, uh, or where is it? Oops, completely passed over it. Iris' testimony, rang light till at 10 p.m. was then in her room until the murder was discovered. So, you could use this, right? But... Hmm, the thing is, even Von Lady Von Karma, she said that there's one problem with this, and she doesn't know about this testimony, right? So, that would mean that the one problem is probably something else. We're gonna try this, but... Okay, it worked. I was just a little nervous about that. Witness! Witnesses have to undergo their own trials, I'm afraid. The defendant's fate rests on, the, on their powers of observation and memory, after all. Well, 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 or what? Well, 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 don't worry, I'm more than up to the task. I'm a woman of faith, after all, the head honcho of Hazakura Temple. In that case, Miss Honcho, I'd like you to explain something for me. This discrepancy between your testimony and that of the defendant, Iris. She claims that after ringing the lights out bell, she went back and stayed in her room. Which means she did not go to the inner temple at all. N no, she said that? A defendant or a witness? Who is more likely to lie, do you suppose? The defendant is simply lying to cover her back! But that is completely illogical. The murder was committed in the courtyard of Zakata Temple. Claiming that she went to the inner temple would make for a much better alibi. But that is odd. Whatever the reason, I can't believe that she would lie! Hmm, she does indeed have honest eyes. Honest Abe, honest. That's actually one thing I want to talk about. There is a something I found out about uh, Iris slash Dahlia, if you will. Something about her. A minor spoiler. Well, I guess technically, actually, it's a major spoiler, but it was pretty predictable, actually. I, I had actually considered this, but I dismissed it because I thought it was a bit too cliche. Um, but yeah, so all, all I could say is that. Um, I'll just say two things here. Um, one. 
This case is definitely going to be a lot larger than just a simple murder case, but you know, that should have been obvious if you played the first two games. And what was the other thing I wanted to say? I, even though I know this fact, I don't exactly know how it's implemented or how it's going to go about. I think it's probably going to be the same case as just like from what I've been told about Godard. Like, knowing his identity is one thing, but knowing just why he became Godard is truly supposed to be the real, you know, uh, treat, if you will. Anyway, hmm, she does indeed have honest eyes. Ugh! Oh, people lie. That is my belief. Why am I the one only being? Why am I the only one being whipped in here? I mean, well, Edgeworth was too. Anyway, neither the witness nor the defendant have any reason to lie, which means we must call your memory into question. Dear, 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 you're older than me, and yet you want to play that game, do you? Uh, well, that isn't exactly what I. My memory is perfect, crystal clear, especially in winter. Interesting. Then, then, I suppose it's too clear early to end this cross-examination, eh? Mr. Edgeworth, if you are going to question the memory of this witness, you will need to show more, me more, a more decisive piece of evidence. I'm not sure if they're going to ask us to present evidence, but let's go ahead and save just in case. I know someone, you might say, why don't you just save when they ask you to present the evidence? You can't do that. Whenever the court, I've said this before, whenever the court record is open, you can't actually uh, hit start. So you have to sort of second, you sort of have to guess when they are going to ask you to present evidence and then, you know, make a guess from there. Wasn't there music playing before I saved? Understood, Your Honor. I was naive to think that that alone would do the trick. Then please add your comments about Iris to the testimony, and let us return to the cross-examination. That night, I was helping an acolyte with their training in the Inner Temple, but... Okay. Well, as you can see, my back likes to act up violently. Iris came to the Inner Temple, she was dressed exactly as she had been at Dinter... What is Dinter? There's no bath in the Inner Temple, you say, uh, uh. What is Dinter, I wonder? Iris came to the Inner Temple... Iris came to the Inner Temple, she was dressed exactly as she had been at dinner. Are you sure that you're not making a mistake? You young man need to get your estimation of me up from the floor. <clears throat> Iris always wears the same clothes. The smallest thing out of place would have stood out like a sore thumb to me. You're ma you're making a mistake. Thinking I made a mistake. An excellent er, an excellent finish there, witness. Still, I have to wonder. Hey, are you sure about that lady? Because I'm going to have to tell you, I'm going to have to tell you something. I think that she was dressed exactly as she had been at dinner. You see, here's the thing, though. Neat. She gave her hood to Phoenix Wright, so... What do you have to say about that? Witness, let's get one thing straight. The defendant whom you claim to have met, she was wearing this demon warding hood, correct? Of course! That is a very important place piece of clothing, I'll have you know. <laughs> Wait a minute. Objection! Hold it right there! Why do you have that? That's the question of the day, now isn't it, Miss Von Karma? I'll have you know that this hood was given to someone as a gift that night, before the lights out bell was rung. Uh, what? You know where I'm going with this, don't you? If the witness had seen the defendant as she claims, the defendant couldn't have been wearing this very hood! Uh, well, well, well! It's not a bad feeling at all, exposing the contradictions like this. Now I understand that happy look on Wright's face every time he does it. <laughs> order! Order in the court! Witness your response! Ah! Sister! This hood! You have spare ones around the temple, don't you? Spares? Well... I don't tend to make too many of them. I see, a stockpile, a surplus of hoods, eh? Each knot is only given one hood. This should be the only hood that Iris owned. Hmm, then this is quite strange. Ah! If this was a surplus of hoods, then she could have worn one of those. There is no contradiction here. Hmm. I'm sorry to break this to you, Miss Fun Karma. But you won't get away that easily. <laughs> I'm a prodigy after all. I became a prosecutor and I was only 20 years old. The same age as the person who's doing the commentary, who's doing my voice right now. Ah, uh, I'm really breaking up the pace right now. This is really unnecessary. I should probably move on. The discrepancies such as this will sow seeds in any human heart. The seeds of doubt. Witness! While I don't wish to call your testimony into doubt, you must give every detail with precision. Uh, I'm not sure I'm comfortable going along with this. Sister, you shall continue with your testimony. T 
tell us what you saw after finishing your bath on your way back to the inner temple. Those seeds of doubt are sprouting in the judge's heart. They just need a little more stimulation to bear fruit. Contradictory stimulation. Well, that was pretty easy. That was like, honestly, that was like first case of the game easy. I wonder what's going to cause us to get, uh... I mean, I feel like this one's going to be a bit tougher, though. After my bath. I finished my bath around 11. I thought I should return to the inner temple. And as I was walking back, I heard a noise from the courtyard. I, I took a look and... Iris was... Oh, Mystic Elise! And with the sword of all things! Mystic Elise was staying in the corner room, which faces out into the courtyard. The stabbing I saw must have occurred after she was pushed out of her window. Hmm. You saw a truly terrible sight, didn't you? If I was in your place, then it would be much like Miss Von Karma whipping Mr. Edgeworth in two, or in two in court. In two? Okay. And me seeing it all from the vi this very chair! Why do you say that? If you say that, it's going to ha Don't these characters know? Uh, well, something like that. This judge, his imagination is about as vivid and creative as Detective Gumshoe. Exactly, which is why it's going to happen. I would look at the fool if I commented on such foolishness. Anyway, this case is mine. Miles Edgeworth! Calling everyone by their full name. Can't you do something about that habit of yours? After my bath. Alright, first and foremost, are you aware that I'm a lawyer? I need to save. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. I keep talking about this. It's really unfortunate I can't really do all the voices properly like I normally could. I don't think that my voice is going to be gone by the end of this because none of these voices are too stressful on the throat or anything. But, um, you know, I just can't do a proper job, unfortunately. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. It's either this or I was going to delay it for a full week, but I thought I was good enough that I could at least pull it off, sort of. I finished my bath around 11. I thought I should return to the Inner Temple. How far is it from your room to the Inner Temple? Let me think a moment. About 20 minutes on these stumps of mine. It's about 50 minutes to Dusky Bridge from Hazakata Temple. The Inner Temple is just beyond the bridge. Still, you never made it back there at that night, did you? That's right. I was heading along the hallway toward the main hall. Okay, so, let's look at this one more time. I finished my bath around 11, I thought I should return to the Inner Temple. Hmm, hold on. Let me check something real quick. Um... What, what, what did the lightning uh, thing say? The weather data. The weather data. S snow from 7 to 10.50, lightning 10 to approximately 11 p.m. Lightning struck Dusky Bridge at 10.45 p.m. Around 30 minutes past between the fire starting and going out. So that means, so that would be 11... I'm just playing ahead on the future, I know this has nothing to do with her own thing here. Uh, that would be 30 minutes from 45, that'd be 11.15, right? Give or take? Okay. Uh, anyway. And as I was walking back, I heard a noise from the courtyard. I took a look and... You say you heard a noise? Thump! Just like that! That could only be the sound of the victim falling. It's very quiet in the temple, you know. You can even hear the snow falling from the branches. Thump! Just like that. But then, couldn't this noise you heard have been snow falling to the ground? I don't know about you, but I don't think you can hear snow hitting the ground. I never thought of that. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho! Oh, ho, ho! Ah! The next one to laugh gets a whooping! Well, whatever the source of the sound, I looked over at the courtyard and... Alright, awkward pause, see you guys in the next episode. Maybe, I don't know. It's raining outside in real life. But I, and I can't hear the rain. I can't hear the snow though. It's October, so it's probably, it's not snowing right now, but it will be soon enough, I imagine. I don't know. Awkward pause, I'm talking too much.